good morning today we will discuss about the crystallographic axis and the actual angle as uh, i have already told you in few last sessions that uh, the crystals can be explained or can be uh, detailed on the basis of their actual representation even the different crystallographic systems are been classified on the basis of the different axial patterns they have so the crystallographic axis and axial angles are quite important when we are discussing about the crystal and their classifications let's see the crystallographic axis are imaginary lines that we can draw within the crystal lattice means these the first of all you must understand that these are the imaginary lines okay we don't have the line as such physically we have to draw an imaginary line okay within the crystal okay so that we can measure or we can arrange or we can explain that crystal on the basis of those imaginary lines this will define a coordinate system with the crystal for three dimensional space lattice we need three or in some cases four crystallographic axes that defines directions within the crystal lattice so this is very important that the actual angles the actual angles and the actual uh, system defines the three dimensional crystallographic space lattice as we know that the uh, crystals are nothing but the space lattice and the repetitive units of the unit cell these space lattices are arranged in an orderly manner and of course if you want to explain them or if you want to uh, create a write up about them then you must have an imaginary arrangement so that you can fix their orientation in the picture you can see that there are two pictures uh, within a one picture where you can see a cube as well as a octahedron in cube you can see that the arrangement of the axles and in the octahedron the similar axis can be arranged in the octahedron likewise so it ultimately depends upon the crystals that what kind of actual arrangement they will show the another diagram here will explain the will explain the actual angles between them so you can see that the actual angles like alpha beta gamma is there majority of the crystal systems have perpendicularity in their actual uh, angles whereas some of the few, some of the crystal systems shows inclinations so alpha beta gamma comes where the inclination is there otherwise if there is a 90 degree of angle you don't need to refer them as an alpha beta gamma so let us see in detail about the crystallographic axis so this is the simplest axial diagram where you can see the three crystallographic axes are there here the axis which is running from say consider that you are holding the crystal likewise then the axis which is running from front to back will be referred as a1 the axis which will run from right to left will be called as a2 and the axis which runs from top to bottom is termed as a3 remember that these axes are nomenclated on the basis of your frame of reference means your position will decide which axis will be a1 and which axis will be a2 and which axis will be a3 why these three all axes are given a same alphabet for nomen nomenclature because these all axes are equal okay and they are perpendicular to each other so when the axes are equal you don't need to refer a b c because the names are different then of course there should be difference in their length but the, though the axes are equal in length you can just refer them by a similar alphabet like a but for a variation you have to refer it as a1 a2 and a3 let us see another actual example here you can see that the vertical axis is different in length and all are perpendicular in our first diagram what we have seen that all axes were equal in length but in this case 
we will see that the vertical axis is different and because of which we have given name as b to it so the axis running from front to back is given as a1 the axis running from right to left is given as a2 because a1 and a2 are equal in length but the third vertical axis is different in length it could be either longer or shorter so in that case you have to give name different from the rest of the two axis and in that case we will, we can give the name as b to it so whether it is shorter or longer that doesn't matter what matter is it is different from the two horizontal axis this is the third example where the all axes are unequal in length and perpendicular in nature so initially all axes were equal in length then in the second case we have seen that the vertical axis was different and now in this case all axes are unequal in length so as you know that if the axis lengths are unequal then of course their name will be different so the axis running from front to back will be given as a the axis running from right to left will be given as b whereas the axis running from top to bottom will be referred as c so all these three axes will have different names because of their unequal length but the common thing between all the first three examples is that all the axes are perpendicular to each other so there is a consistent perpendicularity in all these three cases but the variation in the length has generated different kind of arrangements now this is an another unique type of arrangement where you can see that till now we have seen three axes in the system but now we are discussing about the four axes over there see this is not the dimensional axis you must understand the things this is not a dimensional axis you are just preparing or creating the imaginary lines so that you can describe the crystal more efficiently so here the vertical axis is different and perpendicular this is very important to ask with that the vertical axis is perpendicular and is different in length whereas the rest of the three horizontal axes are equal in length and are separated by the angle of 120 degree so as the three uh, horizontal axes are equal in length they can be referred as a1 a2 and a3 whereas the vertical axis which is different in length you can refer it as a b or either c i refer it as c so the c axis is perpendicular to the horizontal system whereas the each axis in the horizontal systems is separated by the angle of 120 degree okay so this is a different kind of axial arrangement where the four axes are represented this is the fifth case of the uh, crystallographic axis where you can see that the all three axes are on equal in length but the a axis is quite inclined to the b and c axis so how it is possible not necessarily b it is inclined to the c well so why this happens we have seen that where the all axes were on equal in length and were all perpendicular to each other the name was abc of course here all the three axes are on equal length okay agreed but the axis which is referred as a is inclined to the axis of c and because of which it generates different kind of crystallographic arrangement because till now we haven't seen any non perpendicularity in the three axial system now this is the case where you can see that the a axis is not perpendicular to the c axis but it is perpendicular to b but it's not perpendicular to the c so this is an another actual uh, crystallographic actual arrangement you can observe in the crystals the last one is the three axes where all the axes are on equal in length as well as all the axes are inclined to each other as i already told you in my first uh, for second slide that if the axes are inclined to each other they can be nomenclated by alpha beta and gamma so the 
unequal length of the axis uh, justified the name ABC. And because of their inclined nature, the angles between the different axes can be referred as alpha, beta, and gamma. I'll just uh, revise the uh, picture that I have shown you earlier. You can see here the angle between the A and C can be referred as beta. The angle between A and B can be referred as gamma, whereas the angle between the B and C can be referred as alpha. It depends on your perspectives. Okay, it is a general you know, methodology that you can refer it as alpha, beta, gamma. You can just change it, whatever you can do, because these are variables. So now let us revise the topic, what we have studied now. The topic was about the crystallographic axis and the actual angle. Here you can see that the crystallographic axis are the imaginary lines that we can draw within the crystal lattice. It explains the three-dimensional arrangement of the crystals and because of which we can write up, we can develop the concept about that crystal and different arrangement of that crystal. There are a few cases where we can see that how the crystallographic axis are uh, presentable. Here, the all three axes are unequal, are equal and are perpendicular to each other. In the second case, we have seen the vertical axis is different. It could be either longer or shorter, but all the axes are still perpendicular to each other. In the third case, the all axes are different in nature and because of which their names are different and the perpendicularity is maintained. In the fourth case, you have seen that the four axial systems are there where the three are horizontal and the one is vertical, which is different. The three horizontal axes are equal in length and because, and hence the name is A1, A2, and A3, and they are separated by 120 degree angle. The fifth case is of uh, uh, axis, actual system where the three axes are unequal in length, but the A axis, which is nearer to the observer, is inclined to the C axis. And the last case, the actual system contains all axis of unequal length, is the name ABC, and all axes are uh, inclined to each other. Hence, the angles can be referred as alpha, beta, and gamma. So this was all about the crystallographic axis and the actual angles. So thank you for very much for your patience listening. And I'm going to put uh, the uh, remedial coaching Google form link in the uh, chat box as well as through the WhatsApp. If you find any difficulty or doubts, Regarding this topic, you can put your queries in that Google form. Okay. Or if you find any queries regarding the classes we have taken, we have discussed earlier, you can put any query from any class through that remedial coaching system. Thank you very much for your patience listening.